Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to learn remedial math. Now, the three basic tools that you always need when it comes to learning math are a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and a calculator should you need it. But we're going to talk about some strategies on how to learn remedial math, so here we go. Now the first thing that you need to do when it comes to learning remedial math is to identify your strengths and weaknesses. And that means just reinforcing your arithmetic, your basic, basic geometry, as well as your basic algebra. By arithmetic, we're talking about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The basic algebra, we're talking about order of operations, parentheses, and exponents, as well as those other operations in helping you solve equations. In basic geometry, not talking about the proofs necessarily, but we're talking about finding perimeter, area, and volume of various shapes. And again, what skills you're not sure about, that's perfectly okay. It's merely a measure as to see where you are in math. Now this leads into taking a math placement test, assuming, for example, if you want to do it in college. Now the math placement test, there's no right or there's no level in terms of high or low score per se, but really it's a test designed to see where you place. Do you place in the pre-algebra or intermediate or elementary, or do you place in a college level math course? But once you reinforce the math, it gives you an idea as to where you are on the math spectrum. Next, when it comes to learning remedial math, is to determine the kind of learning style that you have. In what ways do you learn? And, and this will help you perhaps consult with a counselor or advisor to determine the instructor that's right for you when it comes to taking a remedial math course. If you possess math anxiety, then it might be helpful to determine what kind of math anxiety that you have and strategies to help overcome that. Now, the important thing to overcoming math anxiety is to make a commitment to have patience and time as possible, but also, most importantly, when it comes to taking any math course, is to keep an open mind. If you go into the math course thinking that you can do it and treat it like with any other course, then you've come a long way from a psychological perspective, and that'll only increase your chances of success. And lastly, when you take the remedial math course, try to make a connection to the real world math. Where is math used in everyday life as to what you're learning? There's a lot of areas in which math is used out there, and that includes financial math, where there's a lot of decimals involved, cooking, where fractions are involved, as well as statistics, where you might be filling out surveys, which will help in the data that's collected, as well as filling out a census form, or conducting various uh, studies. And so the more you can connect what you're learning to what's used out there, the more it can relate to math on a more personal level. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how you can learn remedial mathematics.